A Siouxland school district is looking for the public support in a $37 million bond referendum to build a new elementary school. KCA 9's Jessica Watson joins us live in the newsroom with more on what that project entails and why the school believes it's a necessity. Jessica? MOC Floyd Valley says every year they get about 18 more students and they're running out of space. To best assist the students' growing population, they're looking to expand. And so when we have all these families coming in, what a great way to be, um, to be showing that we are definitely investing in our youth because they are our future. Um, and I think it's just a win-win for everyone. Amber Lucink is a parent with multiple kids in MOC Floyd Valley and is hoping the bond vote will pass to allow the district to expand. Our site limitations are such where we can't really expand our current facilities. And so right now it just makes sense uh, for us to go ahead and combine those two campuses, get all of our students and all of our teachers under the same roof um, to provide that consistent programming um, on all the grade levels. The district will need to have a $37 million bond approved in order to make that change happen. The increased taxes by about $2.70 per thousand, which still puts us, you know, well below the state average. So um, it obviously nobody likes their taxes to go up, but I think people understand that, that um, it's not that significant and it's for a great cause, our kids. Teachers say this vote comes right in the nick of time, as the elementary schools are at capacity. When you're adding sections into rooms that maybe weren't meant to be classrooms to begin with, and then a lot of our small workspaces uh, are getting actually used full time by teachers instead of being just workspaces. So you go in to get your copies, and here's a student working with somebody right there by the copy machine. School officials say they hope the community will vote in favor for this upgrade. It's kind of time for a new building and um, moving into it together. I think a lot of people support that. The bond will also give enough funds to expand the high school, including special education classrooms, and upgrade the middle school's athletic facilities. Live in the newsroom, Jessica Watson, KCAU 9 News.